This music is so unfitting for this kind of place. For like a tower like this. Okay, here are the enemies. Behold, I'm on the flash cut. Lake has no MP, so it's like, doesn't even matter what we do with Lake. Honestly, I probably should just spam attack if Lake is here. Lake could do three attacks or four attacks? Three attacks, okay. Flash cut is now worthless. Just dodge that. All three of them. Oh, this is an enemy that only gets hit by magic, I think. Probably. That's why Flash Cut worked. You're worthless here, Lake. Like a like a forest type area. Like this is the theme of the weird woods. This does not fit like a like a tower of like a cranky old genius. <laughs> Lake is too OP. Behold, explosion staff. This really doesn't fit the dungeon at all. Hello. Honestly, don't even waste MP. I don't think we fight a boss here, but like why waste MP when they can just carry us? Maybe Alex should be using sword, sword dance at times like this. Treasure chest, mine. Silver light? Oh, we're at the point of getting silver lights now. Silver lights are basically better star lights for people who haven't played Lunar. Uh, I'm gonna flash cut here, even though Lake is here. We're sort of at the point to get silver lights. Silver lights are kind of like halfway over halfway end game. They're basically better star lights. I think they hardly sell them at the shop. I think it's mostly a, um, mostly you find them in chests. You don't find too many at shops, but probably a few. Let's go. Actually, wait, I don't have Jessica, so I need to be using this. Wait, what? I'm here again? Okay, then. This was the wrong turn. But I did get a silver light, so it wasn't a complete waste.
and up we go. <laughs> what was that sound effect? Those look like the enemies from the uh, the tower where you meet Lamina. Don't hit the magic hat. Go for the mirror. Okay, good. Yeah. Alright, I guess I have to fight one of you, see what kind of enemy this is. Yeah, the Tormentor. These are the enemies you fight in the, uh, oh, what was that place called? I don't remember what it was called. It's where you fight the Mega Magic Tester and you meet Lamina, though. I do not remember its dungeon name, though. Wait. You go Flash Cut. Actually, honestly, normal attack. And then you normal attack. Yeah, you'll all just insta-die. From Lake. Laser. Yeah, hit Lake. Lake can take the damage. Barrier ring. Give this to Null. Oh, you can't even look at Lake's inventory. Reese's magic resistance is nice. If you put that instead of the angel ring, angel ring I really don't see much use for. Psych. Get wrecked, loser. Five hundred, why even bother? Another moment to sword dance. There was a second mirror though that will potentially kill Alex if it targets Alex. Actually, two mirrors are gonna live, it's even worse. Go for Lake. Thank you for going for Lake. I appreciate it. doesn't like people so he built a maze in the tower keep intruders out honestly based but it's much easier to get back down this shoot will take you directly to the ground floor let me talk to might first dude might was the one that had a cutscene when i thought damon had a cutscene i was getting it confused with might is there something wrong with your eyes didn't you see the signs warning about the cranky, stinky, rude genius? Well, that's me, Might. I hate noise, interruptions, and people. You're trespassing. Go away. <laughs> Was the fart noise really necessary? Work in designs. Uh, work in designs didn't make, like, the game, but they localized it. <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, <laughs> good to see you haven't changed, Might. 
At least it smells like you're eating better these days. Ah, what do you care? You only come here when you want something, so out with it. Who's the little brat? This is my friend Alex. He's looking for the black dragon. And when he finds him, he'll become the next dragon master. But his real quest is to travel to the frontier and rescue a girl from the magic emperor. The frontier? Ah, now I get it. You want, you want me to build this kid an airship, right? Right, you know Alex can't get to the frontier without it. Alex needs your help, Mike, and so do I. You know I'll beg if I have to. Ah, pressure. Pres preserve what little dignity you have. I'll build your damn airship. Oh, you haven't changed a bit, my friend. Thank you, Mike. Now you have a way to reach the frontier, Alex. What brings you to the Black Dragon? Which brings you to the Black Dragon? I heard rumors that it could be found in the prairie to the south of Timur. So let's get back there and see if anyone can give you some facts. How do you always know so much about everything? Oh, you're quite the inquisitive little one, aren't you? Don't worry about me, brat. I'll be finished with the airship long before you find your black dragon, I assure you. Come back here when you're ready to fly. Alex, I'm gonna stay here and chat with Mike. You should go back to Tamur and find out what you can. What's there to talk about? I still stink and you still have that ridiculous beard. Oh, you're one to talk, my old friend. The difference between you and me, sir, is that I make facial hair look good. I mean, Mike's beard does look better. The Black Dragon should be in the prairie, Alex, but you'd be wise to return to Tamur and talk to the people there to make sure. You might not admit it, but you have plenty of time before Mike finishes the airship. Oops, uh, wait, where is it? Item? Use? Give? Well, Alex is full on inventory, that's why. Need to sell some stuff. Once we get back to Tamur, we gotta sell some stuff. Hey, I'm back to the entrance. That's what that little window was for. First things first. I can't sell the helmet, of course. Uh, honestly? Sell this. I don't need two angel rings. You, I want to get you a sword. Oh, you're, you already have the great sword. Or, this is not any better. These are for the other characters, which we'll end up giving to. Armor might be better to buy right now. Some people think the Prairie Tribe is popular with the Barbarians. They're some kind of some of the kindest people I've been privileged to meet. I hope to meet them again. The Prairie Tribe exists on the other side of the Forest of Illusion. They never tell anyone how they managed to find their way through it. Welcome to Tamura's Eve. Okay, this is the same thing. There was no armor shop here. I thought there was. Oh, it's north of weapons. Okay. Silver armor for you. And we can't really, we shouldn't buy the armor of the others until we get them back. You think the secret of the forest is a big pile of treasure, or maybe it's a real big pile of candy? Yeah. He went into Mike's tower. Hey, here he's a monster with huge fangs and long claws that he uses to impale his victims. Hey, where's that warrior you were with? Don't tell me he was eaten alive by Mike, wasn't he? Gross. No way. Maybe you'll all just discuss monsters in disguise. I dare you to let me yank on your face. <laughs> Got another batch of shaky oil uh, medicine ready. Time to get rich. For some reason, we have lots of wild horses in the area of the Stadia Zone. The people of Pio have learned to make their living by taming them. Alex, everyone's waiting at the bar. Oh, the bar is where they all are. 
If I worked hard as I drink, I bet I could make a fortune. Maybe I could find a job where all I have to do is drink all day. If there was a job like that, Kyle would already have it. Yeah, true that, true that. Welcome back, Alex. We're all ready to leave, but there's a problem. We can't find Nash. I wonder where he went. Hey, Alex, I thought I told you to take your time. Just kidding, buddy. Let's go. Well, I can smell Kyle's beer breath from the other side of the bar. Hey, Alex, any good news? Ha 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 ha. Wow, Jessica's blammed off her feet. How'd Kyle manage that? Did you meet old man Might? Yep, he didn't exactly have the freshest of personal sense. But he promised to make an airship for us, right, Alex? If it's anything like the one Shira built, we might not want to keep him. Might want. Might not want him to keep that promise. He seemed pretty confident it would work, Jessica. I apologize, Alex. I returned here as fast as I could, so how did it go with Might? What the hell? When you left here, you were sulkier than a three year old. But now you're smiling so wide, the top of your head is about to fall off. You're such a weirdo. Uh, well, anyway, something's going on in the town square. A man and a woman seem to be having an extreme disagreement with another man. Alex, I don't know if we should get involved in some kinky like that. Something kinky like that. Yeah, I, I can't mind my own business. You know me. Can't breathe, attack, please help me. No. Your crime deserves only a painful death. It is a law of the prairie. He really looks like Alex's older brother. Or like a, a, a distinct cousin. I'm sorry. Alex, they're hanging that poor guy. He probably deserved it. We have to help him. Stop this. I help. Come back here. Stop. It, it's you. We are of the Plains tribe. I am Tempest and this is Fresca. That man was trying to sell fake medicine to the desperate people here. He knowingly lied for profit. It is the rule of the prairie to execute liars. Why do you dare to interfere in our tribal affairs? Are you a thief as well? I lie all the time. I guess I'm a bad person. Well, this isn't the prairie. The laws of Tamur are different. And they don't allow you to hang a man until he's been proven guilty of a crime. You fought the vile trap at Tamur Pass. You know our cause is just. I must know why you took it upon yourself to interfere. Are you not a warrior? I've never met a warrior who permits a liar to go unpunished. There can only be one explanation. You must be a coward. Alex is no coward. Well then, it's time to prove he is of the warrior class. A true warrior would never decline a challenge from another warrior. So I challenge you now. What? We shall quickly learn if you are what you purport to be. Purport? Purport to be. If you defeat me, I shall pledge my allegiance to your cause. But if you fall before me, your public humiliation will be known to all. We'll make certain of that. I don't think we can talk our way out of this, Alex. I wouldn't want to anyway. I must know your name before we begin. Null's literally been saying my name. I'm Alex. Well then, Alex, the time is at hand to prove the worth of your way. I expect a hard fight, no less. To arms, then. Alright, Tempest. Let's do this. Uh, Viger first. Viger, then we sword dance till you're dead. Flash arrow. Scary. Uh, yeah. Sword dance. Go. Yeah! Only 119, that's scary. That is not much. I mean, you're doing very little damage yourself. Perfect. Yeah, that was easy. Just three sword dances worth of HP. Your skill is impressive, Alex. It appears you do know the way of the warrior. I apologize for doubting you. Whenever I could be of assistance, I shall gladly lend a hand to your cause. I still can't believe you bested Tempest. It's alright, Fresca. The fight was fair, and the victory was Alex's. Hardly. Tempest, you're exhausted. We've been riding for three days. 
Holy chaps, he's this strong after three days and nights of travel? That's incredible. Alex, we have come here in search of the singer from our tribe. She was kidnapped by the Vile Tribe five moons past. We've been traveling without the rest in the hopes of finding her kidnappers. We're looking for our friend Luna. They kidnapped her too. I see. It appears our purpose is the same then. Here, Alex, take this with you. A dragon necklace. Tempest, are you? I've already decided, Fresca. I understand. This amulet was bestowed upon me by the elder elders of our tribe. It's a symbol of bravery beyond what's normal. I pray that it brings you luck in your search as well. Tempest, I can't accept such an important... Farewell, Alex. We can discuss it when next our paths cross. Farewell, warrior Alex. That was intense, Alex. I was a little, uh, anxious during the battle. What did he give you? Huh? What is it now? This necklace? It kind of looks like a dragon, doesn't it? Let me take a look. Don't touch that, Kyle. Your hands are filthy. No, it's right. It's some kind of relief carving of a dragon. Perhaps that barbarian, I mean, warrior of the prairie, can help us find the lair of the black dragon. Let's catch up with him, Alex. Tempest said he'd help us. Ba -ba -bum. I want to go buy the weapons for the other characters. Ba -ba 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 Radiant clothes for Jessica. Jessica, this is for you. This is for Nash. Already down to 15 money. That's insane. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. That. I'm not gonna bother getting Nash's bandana. Kyle, yeah, one of these, these are both for Kyle, so I'm gonna get this one for Kyle. We haven't got him a buff in a while. I feel. Oh, that. Jessica, which it's not too important to get. Yeah, okay, these aren't so important. Not really too important to get. I think we're gonna stop here. This is a good spot to stop. We'll go to the next area and follow Tempest and we'll get the Black Dragon and probably even finish the first disc because I'm pretty sure after the Black Dragon, more or less, is when disc one ends, give or take. But uh, I feel like we're, we're definitely like coming through. We're, we're relatively close to the end. I honestly, I'm like interested. I feel like three to four streams will get the game done. So a, a good like halfway through, I think we are. Maybe a little bit more than halfway. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, those of you watching, hope you all enjoyed. We will continue on next time, get the Black Dragon and see where the game goes from there. So yeah, thank you all for watching. See you all next time.